So to work with the virtual box are uh, really amazing. We should uh, download the Kali Linux. So we have three things. One, first one is get Kali. Second one is your uh, virtual box. And third one is your Vinayar. So it's that the Kali. So what do you have to do with? Go to this uh, Oracle and just click download. It gets downloaded. And as one thing that, there's the empty screen which is available. And then later go to this get Kali website and just download this virtual box. And keep it aside, and that will be in the form of these both. Only initially, so initially you will have only these both files. And once going there, click on this file and open with Win AR, and make sure to click on the file and click on Extract and click OK. So what happens is you will get this this extracted file. So till now we have the proxy. Now going further. So as it's extracted already. So just go to the virtual box, click on add, then go to your uh, download. So go to your download, click on this virtual file in it, and go on into it. And there is only one option which is the value so that's the blue one. Click on this. So just open it now or just double click it. So this covers up the file limit. Let's wait for some time. So let's wait. The initial stages for it to be loading. Let it load and make sure to remember that the default password is always something called as the Kali and the password is Kali username is also going to be the Kali one. And I hope that the login page is soon going to appear. Yeah, now click on Kali. And your password is also going to be your Kali. Then login. And that's it. Uh, that will lead to the opening on to the Kali Linux thing. Now, this is going to be your thing. You can just open your terminal or command line. So this is how we can do commands on, for example, I just want to reveal. Okay, fine. That's how we work on or your file in it gets perfectly fine. And the date and time is will be wrong. I'm not sure about it. And that's all about it. So I'll just provide the links of these three things to work properly. And make sure uh, to click Windows Shift and Escape that opens up your task manager just go to performance and sometimes there can be issues like this go to cpu and the cpu make sure the virtualization is enabled else you have to go to your bios or uh, during the restart process of your computer and then proceed with that make sure virtualization is on then only you can access these things and now this is how it looks like